Hello, uh, in today's lab, we are going to learn about street plate method. So the aim of our experiment is to isolate microorganisms using street plate method. For this experiment, uh, we require a source of bacterial source uh, as an inoculum or any other inoculum like soil sample also can be used. We need an inoculation loop, Bunsen burner, alcohol for uh, sterilizing your work area, uh, nutrient agar or any other agar medium plate, and paper towels. Principle of uh, streaking, the inoculum is diluted by streaking it across the surface of the agar plate. While streaking in successive areas of the plate, the inoculum is diluted so that we reach a point where only uh, single bacterial cells are deposited every few millimeters on the surface of the agar plate. An isolated colony is formed when uh, these known bacterial cells will divide repetitively, giving rise to thousands of new bacterial cells in the form of a visible colony. Uh, these isolated colonies can be then re to obtain pure cultures of a particular organism. Uh, in general, there are different methods of streaking that can be used. For example, quadrant streaking, tea streaking, continuous streaking, or radiant streaking. So here we have a diagrammatic representation of how quadrant streaking is done. And as you can see, your plate is divided into four different quadrants in quadrant streaking method. And uh, in first you make your inoculation uh, in the first quadrant, which is sometimes also known as the inoculation zone. And you will uh, basically sterilize your loop and uh, apply the culture loop full of culture in the uh, first quadrant by making uh, these kind of parallel uh, streaks. After that, we flame the loop and then uh, make streaks in this direction in the second quadrant. So uh, eventually third and the fourth quadrant. So eventually by the time we reach the fourth quadrant, generally we get uh, formation of isolated colonies which are discrete and separate from each other. Procedure. So first we need to sterilize the inoculation loop using a Bunsen burner uh, by making the uh, loop red hot or an insulator also can be used. Then we need to allow uh, to let the loop cool down before picking up the colony. We then need to pick up the colony from the agar plate and spread it over the first quadrant, uh, making parallel streaks. Now uh, we need to again sterilize the loop every time. Then uh, we make the streaks in back and by moving the loop in back and forth the uh, uh, motion. Clean the loop again and allow it to cool down, returning to the edge of the first area that you have just streaked. We need to make streaks into the second quadrant of the plate. Further, flame the loop again, allow it to cool it down, and return to the area that you have just streaked, that is area two or quadrant two, and then extend the streaks into the third quarter of the plate. Again, flame the loop, allow it to cool down, and then uh, returning to the area that you have just streaked, that is area three, extend the streaks into the central or the fourth quadrant of the plate. Of the plate. Then uh, flame your loop once again before you put it up. Results, uh, the streak plate is to be incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours, after which uh, the colonies are examined carefully. The colonies that are having the uh, same general appearance uh, or different appearance, they are basically uh, indicative of different organisms. If there are more than one colony type that are present on a petri plate, then each type should be streaked again on a separate plate in order to obtain a pure culture of that particular microbe. Thank you.